Welcome to our channel. Today, we are diving into a topic that might sound technical, but is essential to understand, the staccato cough. This unique type of cough can tell us a lot about our respiratory health. If you've ever experienced a rapid series of short, sharp coughs, or heard someone else with this kind of cough, you know it can be quite concerning. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of what a staccato cough is, what causes it, and what you can do about it. So let's get started. A staccato cough is characterized by its distinct pattern, a series of rapid, short, dry coughs that sound like bursts. Think of it as the coughing equivalent of staccato notes in music, quick, sharp, and repetitive. This type of cough can be a symptom of several underlying conditions, some of which can be quite serious. One of the most well-known causes of a staccato cough is pertussis, commonly known as whooping cough. This bacterial infection is caused by Bordetella pertussis. It's a highly contagious disease that can affect people of all ages, but is particularly dangerous for infants and young children. The hallmark of whooping cough is a series of rapid coughs, followed by a high-pitched whoop sound as the person breathes in. This sound occurs because the coughs are so intense and frequent that they empty the lungs, causing the person to gasp for air. In the early stages, whooping cough can be mistaken for a common cold, with symptoms like a runny nose, mild fever, and mild cough. However, as the disease progresses, the cough becomes more severe, leading to the characteristic staccato pattern. Let's take a closer look at a case study. Meet Sarah, a four-year-old who initially showed signs of a common cold. Her parents noticed she had a runny nose and a slight cough. However, within a week, Sarah's cough became more pronounced and severe. She experienced coughing fits that were so intense, she struggled to breathe and made a whooping sound as she inhaled. Alarmed, her parents took her to the pediatrician, where she was diagnosed with whooping cough. Whooping cough can be particularly dangerous for young children because it can lead to complications like pneumonia, seizures, and even brain damage. Thankfully, with prompt medical treatment, Sarah received the care she needed and made a full recovery. Another cause of staccato cough is chlamydia pneumoniae. This bacterium is responsible for respiratory infections, especially in infants and young children. Unlike whooping cough, infections caused by chlamydia pneumonia often present with milder symptoms, but the staccato cough remains a key indicator. Chlamydia pneumonia infections can cause a variety of respiratory issues, from mild upper respiratory tract infections to more severe conditions like pneumonia. The cough associated with this infection is typically dry and persistent, and the staccato pattern can be quite distinctive. To diagnose an infection caused by chlamydia pneumonia, doctors often rely on a combination of clinical symptoms and diagnostic tests. If a child presents with a persistent staccato cough, the doctor might order a chest x-ray or a blood test to confirm the presence of the bacteria. Treatment usually involves antibiotics, which are effective in clearing the infection. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial in preventing complications and ensuring a speedy recovery. Next, we have mycoplasma pneumoniae, which is often referred to as the cause of walking pneumonia. This term comes from the fact that people with mycoplasma pneumonia infections often feel well enough to continue with their daily activities, even though they have pneumonia. The staccato cough associated with mycoplasma pneumoniae is typically dry and hacking. It can persist for weeks, and while the infection itself is usually mild, it can sometimes lead to more serious complications, especially in older adults or those with weakened immune systems. Diagnosis is similar to other respiratory infections, involving a combination of symptom evaluation, physical examination, and diagnostic tests such as chest x-rays or blood tests. Treatment typically includes antibiotics, and most people recover fully with proper care. Bronchiolitis is another condition that can cause a staccato cough. This is a common viral infection that affects the small airways in the lungs, known as bronchioles. It's most commonly seen in infants and young children, particularly during the winter months. The most common cause of bronchiolitis is the respiratory syncytial virus, RSV. The infection leads to inflammation and congestion in the small airways, causing symptoms like a runny nose, wheezing, difficulty breathing, and a staccato cough. Consider the case of baby Alex, a 10-month-old who developed a runny nose and mild cough in early December. His parents initially thought it was a common cold. However, within a few days, Alex's cough became more frequent and had a distinct staccato pattern. He also started wheezing and had trouble breathing. Concerned, his parents took him to the emergency room, where doctors diagnosed him with bronchiolitis caused by RSV. Alex received supportive care, including fluids and oxygen therapy, and after a few days in the hospital, he was well enough to go home. Bronchiolitis can be particularly challenging because there's no specific antiviral treatment for RSV. Instead, treatment focuses on relieving symptoms 
and supporting the child's breathing until the infection resolves. Finally, let's discuss interstitial lung disease, ILD, a group of disorders that cause progressive scarring of lung tissue. This scarring can lead to stiffness in the lungs, making it difficult to breathe and get enough oxygen into the bloodstream. One of the symptoms of ILD is a dry, staccato cough. This cough can be persistent and is often accompanied by shortness of breath, fatigue, and unexplained weight loss. The exact cause of ILD can be difficult to determine, as it can result from various factors, including autoimmune diseases, exposure to harmful substances, and certain medications. Diagnosing ILD involves a combination of a thorough medical history, physical examination, and various tests, including pulmonary function tests, high-resolution CT scans, and sometimes lung biopsies. While there is no cure for ILD, Treatments aim to manage symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. These treatments may include medications to reduce inflammation and fibrosis, oxygen therapy, and in severe cases, lung transplantation. In conclusion, a staccato cough can be a symptom of various underlying conditions, ranging from bacterial infections like whooping cough to viral infections like bronchiolitis, and even chronic conditions like interstitial lung disease. If you or someone you know is experiencing a staccato cough, especially if it is persistent or accompanied by other symptoms such as difficulty breathing, fever, or fatigue, it's important to seek medical attention promptly. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial in managing these conditions and preventing complications. Remember, your health is your most valuable asset, so don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional if you have concerns. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health-related content and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or personal experiences related to staccato coughs, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay healthy and take care.